Good morning. It is about 8 a.m. If I have a busy, busy day, I normally wake up at about 6 a.m. I actually have a 6 a.m. morning routine video, but I landed from Hawaii last night, so I'm still on Hawaii time, so it's about 6 a.m. my time. It's 8 a.m. here, you know, time zones. So I just got my coffee. We are gonna do this day. The next few days, I have so many things to get done, just a ton of work to get done, and then like random small things and errands because my surgery is on the 10th. So when you guys are seeing this, it'll have been yesterday, but in my time, I have like a few days right now before the surgery. So I'm just trying to get everything done and ahead and edited and all that good stuff. So I have a ton of stuff on my to-do list today. So if you're gonna do like a check off my to-do list with me kind of vlog and have a productive day, get stuff done, I need to go grocery shopping, do laundry, have a whole list here. So, so here's my current to-do list. Normally I'll write it down in this notebook or my planner that I use every day. And I find that the best way to get stuff done as productive as possible right when you wake up in the morning is to make your to-do list the night before. So I actually made this on the plane last night and then just transferred it over to the notebook. And I also recommend putting it in order of what you think you'll do so that you don't really have to sit here and like waste time thinking about what you're gonna do next. You just already have it kind of laid out. For example, if I know I wanna paint my nails at some point cause I need to film tomorrow and they look really ratchet, I'm not gonna put that like before doing laundry. I know I need to go to Trader Joe's because I have literally no groceries today. Trader Joe's I will only go to if it's at like a weird time when it's not super packed. So I wanna try and go there probably in like an hour, around like 10. That's usually like the best time during the week. I need to take a brand campaign photo today for Instagram, which means I need to get ready for that. Today is not like a heavy filming day. Tomorrow and the next three days are gonna be like two videos a day kind of filming days. I just wanna get all this other stuff done today. So this is the one like content kind of thing I need to get done besides I'm filming this video, obviously. So in order to take that photo, I need to be ready by 12 because someone's coming over to help me take it. I was gonna change my sheets, but now I'm thinking my mom doesn't come for a few days and I wanna just change them right before she comes because she'll probably be sleeping in my bed. So I think I'm gonna wait to change the sheets. I'm just gonna make the bed. Okay, what's next? Flew in last night, so my bag is right here. Fully packed, needs to be unpacked, obviously, so that I can do laundry. I have so much laundry to do today, I probably am gonna have like literally six loads of laundry. My closet is in my filming room, so we gotta unpack in here. So spacious, you know? You guys should see what my camera's wrapped around right now. If this doesn't fall, it's gonna be a true Christmas miracle. Okay, I have oatmeal in here. Most of this is dirty, so this shouldn't be too difficult. I like to make piles when I unpack so I don't have to go through and separate out the colors twice when I'm doing laundry. So I'm just gonna separate out by, you know, dark slates, whatever I normally do. And then if it's clean, I'll put it in a separate pile and then sort that out after. My boyfriend got me this super cute dog mug at Target. So this dog person. You will notice, mostly black and white. Welcome to my wardrobe. I had a ton of clothes, by the way, because I thought I was basically going straight from Hawaii to Florida, but I ended up just watched yesterday's <laughs> update video on Mondays. Oh, I need to figure out what the heck stain remover they had because my shirt, this was stained with like black hair dye. You know when you rinse out your hair, your hair gets wet for the first time after dyeing it and it kind of like leaks the hair dye. So my hair dye got all over this white shirt, like all over the collar and the arm and it fully came out. So I need to figure out what stain remover that was. Once I figure that out, I will put that in the description box if you're also wanting a good one. These are my two makeup bags I showed in my Amazon favorites video, my most recent one. This is where I keep all the cosmetic stuff and then this is all makeup. Here's my jelly as heck tea. I'll link this down below. Pack this to Maui. Actually, maybe I'll wear that today. We gotta shower at some point. The suitcase is empty. Nothing is put away, but the suitcase is empty. The suitcase I use is Calpac. I just got this at, I think like TJ Maxx. Okay, now, more coffee. Key to productivity is lots of coffee. Here's my laundry basket. As you can see, it's very full. These are all the piles that I just separated out. So I need to go through these, make more piles, and then get some laundry going. Okay, so I have unpacked. Check that off. I have kind of changed the sheets. We're gonna check that off because I'm not doing that. Started laundry, not gonna check that off yet. Okay, so I think right now I'm going to shower really quick, head to Starbucks probably because I need some breakfast. I have no food here. 
and then go to Trader Joe's and get that done with. It's about 9.45 right now, so I'm gonna try and head out here in like 15 minutes and just shower super quick. I'm not gonna do makeup or anything because I'm gonna be getting ready later on for that photo. Wow, all of these tripods today are <laughs> highly questionable. Don't break camera. I just took a shower, I didn't wash my hair, but I just rinsed off and I think I actually am gonna do super quick makeup, probably just foundation really quick because I am running close on time for taking that photo. So I wanna go to Trader Joe's, get that done, come back and then have like most of my makeup done and then just have to throw on like lipstick and eyeliner and stuff. So I'm just gonna do like literally five minute makeup right now because we gotta get going here. If I want like full coverage, but I'm just going super quick, I'm not gonna put on a primer or anything. I'm literally just gonna use my Makeup Forever Stick Foundation if I can find it. This one does darken, so the shade Y215 is actually okay. It looks a little bit light when I first put it on, but then it does oxidize. It's just like super quick. I'm gonna get coverage and look semi-alive. I just switched the loads. I have two more in. I'm doing all the towels and stuff now. And I'm not gonna do the sheets, like I said, but I have all the towels in and then everything else is in the dryer. Why does this smell like fish? It smells so disgusting. I just put in like an entire can of dry shampoo. That's where we're at today, you know? Just gonna throw in a little bit of CoverGirl undercover concealer. That's probably too much. You literally need like a dot of this stuff. So these foam boards right now are hanging on C-stands that are not mine, so I need to take those down at some point today too. And I ordered different ones on Amazon that are here, so I just need to pop those up and put them together. You don't really need a C-stand to hold a foam board because C-stands are like pretty heavy duty, but there's not really any other way to mount the foam boards in here. I thought about like hanging them from the ceiling. These bounce light, so when I'm filming like my actual makeup videos, like with good lighting, those bounce light off the sides of your head, face, under eye powder. I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of Physicians Formula. Probably gonna be too dark, yep. My light powder is packed, so I think I'm just gonna use some KKW over top. It's just the KKW brightening powder. It's just the AOA brow gel. It's like mostly dried up, but it was just the first one I grabbed. I'm so excited to see what holiday food Trader Joe's has today. It's just Milani 01. I'm gonna skip the blush today. I haven't really been into it lately. I'm just gonna use some highlight. I'm going with the Jouer. Actually, it's a little intense for today. Eh, no, it's not. <laughs> Can't even see the side of my face. I'm feeling super dry today after film after filming after flying. So I want all the glow. Oh, come on. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at that right now. Probably pop on some lip gloss. So once I come back and have to get ready, I'll just have to quickly do my hair. I'm probably just gonna like throw it up into a high bun or something for the photo and then put on eyeliner, mascara, and probably like red lip. It's gonna be like a holiday themed kind of photo. This is the outfit situation right now. Just have on my Fabletics yoga pants, a white t-shirt, and this jacket. This was from, I think, Banana Republic last year. It's very scratchy, but it's warm, and I like the length and everything, and it kind of makes you look like more put together than you actually are. I'm gonna take off my Uggs, put on some, probably just Nikes, and head out. I need caffeine and Starbucks and food. Something I will never understand in life is how Trader Joe's is literally always packed. Any time of the day, what's happening? I guess I am a little bit later than I usually try and go. It's 11.11 now. Ooh, 11.11. Normally, if you go between like 9.30 and 10.30 during the week, that's like prime time. So lately I've been getting a tall nitro with sweet cream. Why is there no holiday cup? That's sad. Tall nitro with sweet cream, add peppermint. If they ask how many pumps, I just say one usually. It is so good. It's like not too sweet. It still tastes holiday-y, but it's not too intense, you know? I've been posting this on Instagram and so many of you guys have been sending me photos of you getting this drink, so I hope you like it. I also got a blueberry oatmeal. Which doesn't sound super great right now, but I'm, you know, trying to be healthy and things. So anytime I am driving, sitting in Seattle traffic, folding laundry like I'll be doing later today, doing things around the house, I always try and multitask and listen to something. So right now I'm starting a new audiobook on Audible. So thank you to Audible for supporting my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. Audible has a huge selection of audiobooks and just like comedy stuff, news, tons of stuff to listen to. In the last video where I was talking about Audible, I got your guys' recommendations. So I'm actually starting a new one called Educated. It's by Tara Westover. This is Audible. 
there it is. It's a memoir and a lot of you guys recommended this one. I just finished listening to my other audiobook so I'm going to be starting this one today. Right now Audible is having an insane deal for you guys. It's over half off the normal price. You can get three months for $6.95 a month which is an amazing deal because you get one credit for an audiobook and then you get two free Audible originals every month. And this deal is only going to be going on for a limited time. So if you want to check it out and take advantage of it, I'll have the link down below. But you can go to audible.com slash Taylor or you can text Taylor Wynn to 500, 500 and that will give you the deal. One thing I think is super cool is that you can do audiobook exchanges and then also your credits never expire. Like your audiobooks are always in your library. So even if you cancel or freeze your membership or whatever, or you don't feel like you can keep up with listening to that many audiobooks every month, they don't go away. I really like that about them. But again, I will have the link down below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. All right, this lot is popping right now. Cars are going in and out. Everyone's shopping. I'm going to eat my oatmeal here and then head in. So as far as groceries, I need a lot. I'll show you guys a haul once I shop later. What time is it? It's now 12.18. I actually was able to switch the photo shoot thing until 2, so that's good. So I have a couple extra hours now to get stuff done in between and get ready for that. I got these flowers. How freaking beautiful. Sometimes you just gotta buy yourself flowers, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Trader Joe's has some of the best deals on flowers. Like this was $12.99. I feel like anywhere else this would be like 20 something bucks with the roses in it and stuff. Such a pretty like holiday bouquet. So I'm gonna put that in a vase in a second. I got a ton of stuff. I have two bags, but I literally have like no food in my place right now. So I got these fully cooked turkey meatballs and then scallops. These are random, but someone made these for me. I used these Trader Joe's scallops and they just seared them in butter and they were so good. And scallops are really good for you. And I think they're like, I think they're pretty high in protein. I've never tried these, but I feel like I've heard someone talk about this, but this is the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. I think I actually might make like a hash kind of thing for lunch and just put greens with this. And I got some of the soy trees though, so I think I'm gonna maybe look, actually make that right now. Yeah, cause I'm getting hungry again. <laughs> Already hungry after the oatmeal. Cauliflower gnocchi, I've talked about this before, but check out my last Trader Joe's haul if you wanna know how I make this. If you make it the way they tell you on the box, it is not good, don't do it. This is like one of my favorite things ever from Trader Joe's, the 10 minute. Faro, I don't know if it's Faro Faro, but I love using this with the yum sauce. If you have Cafe Yum Bayou, yum sauce, broccoli, and then like make your own yum bowl. They only had very hard avocados, so those are not right yet. I got two salads just for lunches, the crunchy slaw and the Caesar. Wait, maybe I shouldn't eat one of these for lunch because these will go bad. Yeah. So I picked up a couple of their seasonal things. I was debating between this and the gingerbread, but this sounded more up my alley. Ground coffee sprinkled with spices, medium dark roast. I'm actually switching away from the Keurig. I ordered a French press and then like a kettle thing. I don't know. I just feel like the Keurig is super wasteful and if I have more than one cup, it doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to try going without the Keurig for a little bit, see how it goes. And then I also got the cocoa peppermint flavored almond creamer. This was more for my boyfriend. I don't really drink creamer in my coffee. Sometimes if I want like a little bit of something, but he'll drink this. I got two things of the Persian cucumbers. If you like cucumbers or if you don't like cucumbers, try the Persian ones. They're so much better than the regulars. They're like super crunchy and you could just eat them like a carrot. I love this bacon by Trader Joe's because it gets super crispy. It's already fully cooked. I got some salmon, carrot ginger soup, and actual carrots. I've been really into broccoli lately, weirdly, because I finally found a way that I like to cook it. If you just put it in the pan and let it get like almost burnt, it tastes so much better to me than like steaming it or anything else because it just gets a really good flavor. Cilantro, cilantro has totally grown on me. And then this is one of their holiday items. This is, whew, I'm like out of breath. Candy cane green tea. It's decaf, so I figured it'd be nice for nighttime. I was so excited when I saw these because I was already gonna get the hold the cone. If you've never had the hold the cones, they're so good. They're like mini and one of them satisfies me at night. So this is a good like, dessert kind of thing if you don't want to get too wild but this is peppermint flavors this is like their limited edition holiday you have to get this rice this is the Japanese style fried rice don't get the one with chicken or like the other one get the one that says Japanese style lemons just for dressing lemon water whatever and then I can't remember if I needed more cheese I already have a bag in there I just realized but it stays for a while and then mushrooms I've never tried this but I'm kind of into soups right now especially like pea soup because it's just really good for you and low calorie and everything. So this one is like a fresh one. It was in the refrigerated. Soy trees, oh, this is so good. I apparently got more cheese. This is the cheddar and gruyere. I always can never say this. Gruyere, gruyere, 
grew you. Grew you. Sliced black olives because these are really good on the humble things I make. Just for being festive and things. They're the peppermint mini marshmallows. How cute is this packaging? I love Trader Joe's packaging. Ran out of the everything but the bagel seasoning and then I also picked up onion salt. This onion salt is super good. Last two things, organic hummus. This is just the basic one. And then I've never tried this, but I feel like I've heard good things. It's the cashew fiesta dip. That is everything I got at Trader Joe's. That was a wild, wild trip. Enjoyed it, actually. I'm gonna finish putting away some of this stuff and then I think I'm gonna have this for lunch. I did just change the laundry, put more in. I need to figure out the photo situation, but let's do some checking, shall we? Trader Joe's done. Have I done anything else? No, I also added package the Instagram giveaway. I have a December Instagram giveaway going on because I'm shipping it out after the surgery so my mom's gonna have to be the one to send that. So I just wanna get it all ready to go. So when you do an Instagram campaign or I mean YouTube too, there's usually a campaign brief which is where the brand sends over like what kind of style they're looking for or certain things they're looking for in the photo. So I'm gonna check that out right now. I have an hour before the photo shoot, so I need to figure out the outfit, what kind of thing they're going for, and just like the requirements and stuff to make sure I hit it. And then I'm also getting an Instagram story, so I just need to look that over. Usually for Instagram, it's not like super specific, and then you have the, you know, creative flexibility to kind of figure out and do what you want. I love Instagram campaigns because I just love the creativity and like trying to think of ideas to make the photo look cool. My Instagram is at Taylor Wynn. If you're not following me, I do monthly giveaways on there too, but I still have half my coffee left here. I need to get going. Put the flowers in the vase. So I got a Mac. I think this video will be up before I have this like bonus vlog coming. That's literally footage from the last like two months at this point, but I got an iMac and it has been life-changing so much easier than working on a laptop i just want to show you guys this candle lighter i got on amazon this is one of the coolest things i've ever seen so instead of buying ones and then like throwing them away after they run out it has a charger here so you just charge it sits like that and it's actually like i don't know exactly what's happening here but it's like an electric current that lights the candle wick And then you never have to like replace this and it's pretty. I'll link this down below, but, and it has a lock here. So if you have like kids or something, you can lock it. Let's see. Yeah, now you can't push it up. Okay, so I just super quickly did a little bit more to my face, put on a shirt for the photo. This shirt is from Boohoo, super cute. It has like these fluttery sleeves. It's pretty low, so I'm not gonna show you that, but love this red lip color. This is Too Faced Melted Matte, their new gingerbread collection in the shade Gingerbread Girl. Such a pretty like holiday deep red. And then for the eyes, I just put on a little bit from the Ginger Spice. Here's what the shades in this one look like. We're gonna flush that out too. Turn that a little bit. Maybe we can angle it more this way so the TV's not in it. Just finished up taking the photos. I'm probably gonna wash off all my makeup right now because everything else I have to do I think it's just gonna be at the house today, so I think I'm gonna wash my face, but let's get some checking off done. Did that, took the photo, have to edit. Oh, I need to add that on. I need to edit a video and edit the photo. Edit video, edit photo. These were a fail, so I actually ordered the wrong thing on Amazon, so I don't have C-Stand, so I'm gonna need to go pick some of those up either tonight or super early in the morning because I have to film two videos tomorrow. Or if I can just like lean the foam boards against something, maybe that'll work, but. All right, so I think next I'm gonna get the laundry out and then fold everything. And then I can do my nails and do some computer work and stuff. Okay, it's now 4.45 and it is fully dark out. And I just spent way too long trying to edit that photo. Actually, I was trying to do two, one to post today and then the brand photo. Some photos just don't edit well at all. Like they look fine before you edit them and then it just doesn't work. And it was one of those. I think I'm still gonna try and re-edit the brand one later because I'm not like 100% happy with it, but I gotta move on to the next thing because it is now getting to the end of the day and I feel like I still have stuff to do. So I think I'm gonna put on my audiobook and fold all this laundry. I haven't gotten any like editing or anything done yet. So I'll probably be up super late tonight doing that because I wanna get that done. This face mask makes you look a little bit dead, but I just put on the Tula Self Care Sunday Nourishing Face Mask. I love this one. It smells so good. It doesn't smell like overpowering coconut, but it has like a subtle scent and you can like feel it kind of doing something and it feels a little bit cooling. We couldn't haul a thousand heavy mason jars.
Okay, so laundry is done. I folded half of it, so I'm gonna do the other half tomorrow because I don't feel like I need to finish that tonight. Nails, I just painted. By the way, I always paint my nails at night and I just do it like a little bit messy because as soon as you shower in the morning, it comes off your cuticles and stuff, so then it just looks like good in the morning. And I just use OPI Black Onyx as my favorite black. So painted nails. I actually can't package the Instagram giveaway because I realized I don't have the big enough flat rate box. I only have a small size. So that I'm gonna do tomorrow. Right now I'm gonna hop on the computer and do all these three things here. I'm also gonna try and get some emails done since I haven't been on the computer all day today. I made it an entire video, wow. I felt relatively good today, so that is, thank you, thank you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more. Let me know if you'd rather see like voiceover style or if you like the vlog style better. Don't forget to check out Audible at the link down below. Oh, I also Instacarted some other things that I forgot at Trader Joe's like paper towels and just some like cleaning stuff and random stuff that order is gonna get here, I think in like an hour. But if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. If you like this style video, I have a 6 a.m. morning routine video. I have a Sunday relax routine. I have a recent Christmas decor stuff. So if you want to see any of the tree and everything, I did like a giant shop with me slash decorate with me kind of video. So I'll leave those down below. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.